Hey guys and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we are looking at a Cyborg Gorilla. This is Cygor and this is probably one of my favorite characters from the Spawn series. Like ever since I saw that there was a Cyborg Gorilla fighting Spawn, like I've really just been enthralled by it. It is, it's just such a creative, such a like out there thing. So um, this was released in 2021, just like the rest of the ones that we've kind of been looking at. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get him out of his box and check him out. All right, guys, so we've got Saigor here. And as you can see, it looks like it got a bit wet inside the box. I don't know what that is on the front there, but yeah, anyway, the figure's fine, which is the main thing, but We've got a nice picture of Saigor here on the side, as well as a nice sleek black minimalist box. I really like the uh, the minimalism that McFarlane's going for with these boxes. Same with this, a uh, very nice picture of Saigor, and then sort of a faded out warehouse in the back. And then we've got this. This is really cool. This is just some art. I don't, I'm not sure if it's in the comic or whatever, but yeah, really, really cool. I really like that. Would have been cool to get like an art print or something of it, but yeah, unfortunately no art print. We've got the box, which is nothing really to write home about, and neither's the bottom here. All right, so let's get him out of his box. We've just got the four tabs here at the top, and I've sped it up a bit, so it shouldn't take too long, but yeah. So there was a little bit back here that like held on that I had to cut, but besides that, it was, yeah, very easy as you would kind of expect. And here he is out of his box. We've got this lovely like orange lightning in the back, which yeah, really amplifies this figure, makes him look really good. So let's get Saigor out of the way for a minute, if I can get him off. There was like a bit of tape on this plastic as well, holding him in there. So it's all a bit uh, confusing, but yeah, we did get him out. And then we've got the back. So this looks really nice. Um, but the bottom of this has like these weird tabs and I don't know what the tabs are about. Um, I assume it's so that you can kind of pull them out and display it like wider. But as I've said throughout all these figures, like the stand on the back here just destroys sort of the backboard. Like it would be nice if you could have this and display it like this. I think that's what the design is, but yeah, you just, it gets destroyed with the stupid stands on the back, so yeah, I, I don't know. But anyway, here's the stand, and this one is actually horrible. Um, it's all torn up, that wasn't me by the way, and then we've got like a white splodge on it as well, so pretty disappointing with this one. I mean, I'm not going to use the stand because Saigor doesn't need it, so I suppose that is a blessing. But anyway, let's get him out of his zip ties, and here we have him. So let's check out his articulation. So his shoulders aren't on ball joints, which, yeah, a little disappointing to be honest. However, they, they just go up and down, and then we've got some articulation in the shoulder. I will say for this big figure, everything is very like stiff, and his arms and hands and wrists, you all need them to be very stiff because he actually balances on those. The head, however, that is a really nice joint that they have on the head. So it just swivels around, it's very nice. And then this arm is the same, just up and down. But this elbow, this doesn't want to move very much at all. And I think it's because there's actually a cord on the back that connects like his tricep to the like gauntlet on his arm. So yeah, I think that's why it can't pull up and down. It also looks like it's not in properly, but I don't know, that could just be me. If you've got this Saigor, then let me know if yours is the same. But I think, yeah, I think it's meant to be like that. Got some waist articulation, and he's also got like this horrible diaper looking thing around his waist. But quite the booty on him as well, if that's what you needed in a Cyborg Gorilla. But yeah, his feet are really nice and pretty solid and are definitely going to hold him up. So I thought we'd have a, a better look at him and it's kind of, I want to show like how he stands and stuff because I think it's a bit unique to his figure. So obviously he's got like these big ginormous arm and little stumpy legs and also a 
lovely amount of detail like all over him. Even though it's not coloured, I would prefer like some more colours, but anyway, I won't get into that. But uh, yeah. So you kind of display him with his fists on the ground, and you can have them up like this, this isn't like the proper way to display him though. But I wanted to take a look at like his little legs back here, so they kind of show like his kneecaps, so it doesn't look all that good. As well as the like rubber diaper that's got on him, you really need to have him in like this forward look to make him actually look good. Um, if you display him in any other way, you can't. So this is how he's supposed to be displayed on his knuckles like this. His hands obviously don't move, they have no articulation. I would have liked some, but I get it, like, yeah, it's going to be supporting him, so we need strong hands. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you with the showcase and then be back with my final thoughts. Alright guys, that has been our look at Saigor, and yes, I've had a, a haircut, I, um, it was getting a bit long and yeah, I donated it, so, <laughs> yeah, between, uh, filming, so, yeah, anyway, Saigor, pretty, like, he's a really good figure overall, um, I really like him, he's got a lot of details, I think that, you know, there's always things to complain about, and I think here, like, the paint job definitely could have been better. There's so many little details that would look so much better if they just had a little bit of paint. But overall, he is a really incredible figure. The articulation in the head is, like, super nice. Um, I don't know how they've done that, but it is very nice. Um, the ones on the shoulders aren't as nice, and... Obviously, you can only kind of have him in this sort of standing pose. You can't really have him, like, with his arms over his head. His little legs are just not going to support that, unfortunately. But overall, yeah, a really good figure. I think the face definitely has, like, the most detail, and it looks, like, really amazing. But I'll put up on screen the other Saigor that I unboxed. I believe he's from 2008 or 2007 or something. Um, so you can see the differences and while that one's got a lot of detail and stuff and I really like that one You know, this is still a really good iteration of Saigor um, I, I really like Saigor since I've seen him uh, I just I just really like it that it's a cyborg gorilla like what more could you ask for? <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think Down in the comments below leave me a like and subscribe if it's your first time here because we've got a lot more spawn figures and other things to unbox. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.